guys welcome back to my channel it's pretty late and I just wanted to share some DIYs with you I'm not going to show you the <coughs> sorry the procedure but just the end result um it's kind of difficult for me to film the procedure the whole process but I will guide you through it and I know you will understand what to do so the first thing here I'm sharing is this organic candle and I don't know if you're guessing what it is that I'm burning here but it's actually an orange um, I hope you're seeing it right um, basically what it is what I did actually is not something that I came up with I saw it on Facebook from a natural site and I decided to try it um, what you do you take an orange and you cut it in half don't peel it just cut the orange in half and basically what you do you peg it or you suck it like that but I know sometimes some of us if you suck the orange really right it kind of affects around our lip so what I did I put my mouth inside the orange and kind of take out suck some of the juice out and then I turned it over and I pegged it but I carefully pegged it because I wanted you know what we get in the middle the little stalk well that stalk in the middle the little flesh is what serves as the wick yeah guys I know right so I pegged the orange and I made sure I leave that little tall thing in the middle the little stem I made sure I pegged it properly and what I did I just filled it with olive oil and you use a lighter because it's, it's um, fruit and it wasn't lighting with the matches so I had to use a lighter to light it if you don't have a lighter light gazette paper newspaper sorry and light it and it's going to light and yeah guys this is my little candle what happened I'm not getting an orange scent because I think the orange was too young because I got an orange from someone and it was really young not young young but it was young so I don't think it was full so so the and the skin was green so probably I need an orange colored one probably to get the scent I'm not 100% sure but this is just an organic way of getting light you know when you know just to light your home or you know you can't find the candle hey i have a, a half an orange there i'm gonna light it just put some olive oil in it and yeah just an organic way of getting the same result from a candle and i think i believe if you put i, I haven't tried it this was my first attempt i don't know if you put scented oil if you're gonna get the fragrance i will try it that way and i will let you know all right i am taken out light now all right and as let me see it's not hotter and you see the little wick there i don't want to tilt it too much because the orange is the oil is going to fall out um the other thing i made wasn't is using um you all guys know i love scented candles i love i have scented candles all over my home and what i did this was the the glass from a finished candle and what happened you will notice that candle remains at the bottom along with the wick and the metal base right so what i did i put the glass the jar in the freezer for like four hours or more it depends and then I take a butter knife and I just stick around going around and then the whole things the whole thing comes out then I will wash wash the glass and use some ventilated spirits to clean any residue or anything then I use Mudge Podge is it's like a glue a white glue I put it inside and I spread it evenly and then I sprinkle glitter and I leave it to dry and this was the end result um, I put some balls in there and I'm using it for my brushes but what I am also using it for I put um, 
a tea light candle inside so because i use pink glitter the lighting it gives a nice light it really does a nice glow so you could use different colors but you all guys know my theme is pink and black so i use pink glitter and then when it dried i sealed it back with mod podge so no glitter i'm not going to get any glitter fallout so you're not going to see any coming off on my finger so this is just a little way of recycling and it serves a purpose for your brushes or any other thing that you want to use it for and i got the um i think i did a haul with these balls already i got it at trim city mall for 15 or 10 dollars a bag at the i can't remember the name of the store but it's like a 15 dollar store um Rwanda VM and Ishii's always there. I can't remember the name, but if they watch the video, they will comment below and tell you the name of the store. But it's in Trin City Mall. But most of the stuff there is fifteen dollars. And my last DIY project I did today, and I'm really proud of the outcome. I am really, 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 really happy, and that is. If you all guys watch my previous vids, I did mention that I got the recipe to make paint for my son. So today, no actually not today, on Thursday I got the cornstarch and this morning bright and early your girl was up making paint. What I did, I doubled the recipe because, I don't know, I my eye big. I know me, I like plenty things. I don't know why, but... Yeah, and I come from a small family, so but I don't know. I like to see plenty, so <laughs> I double the recipe. And the recipe basically called for this is I'm giving you the normal recipe, and I just doubled it. It calls for three tablespoons of sugar. I use brown sugar. It didn't specify half a teaspoon of salt, half cup of cornstarch, and two cups of water. So I doubled it. Um, I use brown sugar. I use normal salt. I got the cornstarch at two sixty nine a packet, and one packet is a cup. And well, I use four cups of water, and that gave me seven of this size glad container filled, plus this mayo jar. And I'm just gonna show you the consistency not with my finger because as you can see my fingers are already stained from the coloring and see it's not really runny runny yeah guys i'm so proud of me not only proud but i'm finding a way to save money because my son loves to paint and he goes to poster paint like Bruh. so this is an innovative cheap way of me of him getting to paint and I'm not shame about it at all right and I'm just gonna show you the color payoffs the colors that I did the only thing I didn't I'll swatch it for you now this is orange you all guys know your color wheel red and yellow makes orange so I'm just gonna dip my finger in there this is it I'm just sealing it back and this is the orange I just swapped as you can swatch why I say swap um as you can see it's still wet um this is purple blue and pink makes purple the more blue you put the darker it's going to be okay this is the yellow this is pink purple again brown I use brown oh sorry to get the colors you have to add coloring after so what i did i scooped it in this jar in these containers and then i added the food coloring i did it while it was still warm and i just left it to air open uncovered for it to cool so you put how much drops of coloring you want to how bright you want it and all you know i like bright colors i put real coloring so this is the orange. I got orange, purple, 
Well, I made the, I mixed two colors to get the orange and the purple. I bought yellow coloring. I got, I bought pink coloring. This is purple again. This is blue. I had brown coloring. This is pink. Green. I just tested it out. And if, as you guys can see, it's holding up. This is the recipe there. And it's really bright and I'm real happy. I have found an alternative to poster beans. But um so what you do guys, you put all the ingredients in the pot. I put um what did I do? I put all the dry ingredients and then I added the water and I put it on the stove and I stirred and I stirred and when it starts to get a little thick, just stir it until it get a little thicker. Not too thick because the first batch I made it was too thick so it was in jelly form when it cooled so you can he could have used it still but that mean meant that his fingers were, and my wall like, mm -mm. so I dumped it and I did it over but if it's getting too thick while it's still just add a little water to thin it out a little bit so don't let it get too thick you know as soon as you see it with coming in you will see it turning a clear substance on the spoon just keeps turning stir until they're feeling it you know not too thick and looking clump like gel no you don't want it you still want it a little watery and you just scoop it out into containers that you want and then you add the color into the containers they can't add the color into the pot because then you'll only get one color right so that's what i did guys and that's my little diy so if any of you all guys try the paint let me know how it turns out because i'm real happy and as you guys can see it's really vibrant and i'm just going to turn the page it didn't completely soak through to the other side it just soaked through to the page so it came out pretty well and i'm really happy of the results and my son is ecstatic he was like mommy you are the best he's the best mommy that kind of boosts my ego to her but <laughs> so you're real happy and i hope you all guys try out some of this stuff especially the orange the orange when i saw it on facebook really took me back and i said i had to try it and it's, it's it's functional i mean everything i showed you here is functional and i hope you guys try it and have fun doing it okay i mean if you don't have kids i mean do it for your nieces and your nephews and god children and just for children in the neighborhood you know donate to the sunday school by doing it or to the preschool yeah right so take care guys bye bye